So here I am trying to play upload number 374 and this is what's happening. I'm gonna go out, go back in again. 373, Right, you try. Okay, go here. Wi Fi. I'm connected to my home network. Signal strength is excellent. Alright, so that's not gonna work. And I'm gonna go here. Wow, oh, it doesn't want to load. It's trying to load, but it will not load.
Alright, that's not loading. Nothing new. It wants to load, but it will not load. Something is stopping it from loading. Well, nothing wants to work. CNN will not load. there it's going a little bit but it will not do anymore no nothing is working alright so nothing is working and let's see here Upload. This is not the upload screen. Will not upload. It will not load web pages. CNN. Nope. Will not load. <laughs> this site can't be reached. Alright, that's that, that's what he does normally. The site can be reached. Okay, it just stopped. Stop. Stop. No. All right. Move the clipboard. And nothing will load here either. Alright, so it's going to be one of those days that I will not, I would be prevented from functioning. Hundred and forty degrees, right here. Very hot phone. Hundred and thirty-four degrees is the battery. Alright. 141 degrees. Okay, so this is just gonna continue. Um been here before. Pinterest will not work. It wants to work, but it will not work. Alright, I guess that's it. Um, try this one more time. Alright, there's my channel. There's my channel. Oh wait, let me confirm again. Signal strength is excellent. Set of that and go here. Wi Fi thief 138 degrees on the CPU. Uh, here we go. I'm back again. Here, X out of there.
Right, so the only device on my network are the bottom ones are offline. The the only device on my network is my phone, SGP, my router, and the malware. Here's the malware. There. That's the malware. Brand is HTML. Okay. So I have excellent signal strength. Just the malware and my phone is online on my router and I cannot access my channel. Right there. Today is the final push to get American voters out to the polls that cast their ballots in the midterm elections. Tomorrow, Alan Morrow has more. President Trump has had a really intense schedule of campaign rallies for weeks now, but Barack Obama has also been out in full force on the campaign trail as well. He's even lost his voice. He's been doing so much campaigning. And one of his main messages has been that this midterm election is what he calls the most important election in our lifetime and that it's a contest of ideas over what America should be about. Healthcare for millions is on the bottom. A fair trade for working families is on the back. And most importantly, the character of our nation is on the bottom. Predicting for both sides is going to be turnout. And for Republicans to do well, voters are going to have to be motivated by President Trump's closing argument, his racially tinged arguments on illegal immigration and the caravan. That's going to work with his base. The question is, will it help get more moderate Republicans out to the polls? Ellen Morrow, CBC News, Washington. There are new details about what about what might have caused the Lion Air jet to crash last week in Indonesia. Investigators say the flight data recorder recovered from the Java Sea shows the jet had trouble with its airspeed indicator on its last four flights. The plane went down just over 10 minutes after taking off from Jakarta with 189 people on board. Families of the victims are calling for those responsible for clearing the jet to fly to be held accountable. They're still waiting for the remains of their loved ones. Officials have only been able to confirm the identities of 14 victims so far. An Ontario woman is going public with her battle against her credit card insurance. I was devastated to tell you the truth. I thought, why? When Jill Gray's husband's illness interrupted their payments, the couple assumed their insurance would help fill the gap, but soon they were billed for the balance in full, a debt of over $17,000. The case is part of a CBC investigation into whether... <laughs> Hundred and forty three degrees Fahrenheit Fahrenheit. A hundred and forty three degrees Fahrenheit. A hundred and forty seven degrees is the battery. Take a screenshot.
Alright, it's 9.06 and I'm going to stop recording now.